Hey guys, it's me, Miss Reaper, and today I'm bringing you an arena video. <laughs> this is just me, okay? Me and my pet, because arenas don't allow your companions, which is something that we already knew. But yeah, I ventured into Maelstrom Arena, which can be found within the Hrothgar DLC, um, which was recently on sale due to an event that was going on within the game. So uh, let's just jump in and see how we did, right? <laughs> So guys, we are going to speak with this guy here to get the quest. What do you mean? How do I win? The rules are simple. Win or die. Enter each arena, defeat all opponents, then move on to the next. Survive them all, and I'll offer you a place in my office. So, interested? Or would you rather just return to Camelot and fight in my shop? I accept your challenge. So now we step through this door and then through this portal to get to the first arena. So as you can kind of see, we're in somewhere that looks like Auridon. The Veil of the Surreal. Now, there's nine of these arenas. Okay, and there's also the event going on at the moment, I believe, with the One Year Rothgar. Where you can get double nodes and these One Year Coffers within Rothgar, Imperial City, and Craglorn. Right, round two. So I'm not entirely sure about the thing, but stay away from that. Like, I'm still learning the mechanics. I've only been through this about five times. Give or take. God damn it, Panther. But yeah, and each time I get better, you know, in, in my opinion, I do get better. And that thing's after me again. Keep as far away as you can from it. But these things around the corner are your buffs. You know, you can use them if you want. So there's haste, which is like the wings, which is this over here. There's your healing, which is the chalice. Um, defense, which is a shield. And then power, which is like an axe mm -hmm. sort of thing. But yeah. And within each round, those will respawn, you know, in case you've used them. Right, and here comes the boss. 
Macus of, well, Macus the Many. In other words, he will spawn variants of himself, which ye must fight. And he is dead. So after each one, where's this guy? There he is. So after each arena, you'll get a chest of champions. At the moment, there are is double nodes, but I've just got one moment. It's in here. I've just got one of these. Okay, the one year coffers, which can hold motifs mats um junk <laughs> these you know right so now we're going to sets balcony okay which is like a clockwork city looking area you know okay so stay out of the center as you can see it's electrified these things will circle around which you can stop by switching. And now we kill some dwarven stuff. But the switch isn't forever. It's for like a few seconds. Which I don't mind it hitting me. It's only, you know, a tad bit of health that it takes each time. You know? which I can then go switch. There is a switch on this side and that side, which you can pull, but you only need to pull one for normal. I'm not sure about vet as I've never done this on vet as of yet. But yeah. So just kill all the Dwemer stuff you know gets easier the more you do it really as is everything practice does make perfect well you know it's said the practice makes perfect I'm not actually sure if it does you know Sometimes with practice you get worse. I mean, I'm still trying to work out um, Batistran Hollow, but that's going to take a while to do. Right, and then this one here, there's three Centurions that will appear. When you get them down a bit, they'll, you know, have a little sit down. Like that, which then will spawn in the next. Yep. And basically, you've got to get these down one by one. But the first one is going to instantly sit down anyway, until you get the other two to that level. Which from the looks of it is 41%. This guy just wants to die anyway. And I'm like, damn, that's a fucking mood. But from the looks of it, get this one down. Now, that one's going to be the first to die. Which will then mean that these will fall alongside. And there we go. Simple as. You know, take your loot. Because you cannot come back afterwards. Okay. Now we're going into what looks like Merkmire or Black Marsh. Great, you could also be in, say, Shadowfen, which is also in Black Marsh. So get onto one of these 
survive the drone of toxic shock. So as you can see up there, there will be a Lamia Queen. A huge, like, snake sort of thing. And she will electrify the water and shoot poison at you. Which is an area attack. first time I did this I did it at the same time as one of my friends um, and we basically finished around about the same time because when they took a break I took a break um, we basically died at the same times as each other which was really odd you know But you know, first time through, we were learning the mechanics. When we spotted something that the other person might not have, we mentioned it. You know? Right, and there's your poison. Oh, she's doubling it. There's also stranglers as well, so keep an eye out for those. Ooh, the Queen's Champion wishes to uh, challenge me, does she? Yeah, no Queen of mine. And I'm about to level up as well, which is nice, because I am enlightened. Which means that my XP is much more than it should be. I mean, 7.4k for a Strangler, which I just one-shotted. Well, it might not be, but hey. It might have joined up with something else that I killed. Oh, Miri would love it here. All these snakes. Care for a swim? Um, sure. Although it's electrified water at the moment, so maybe not. I need to get over that. Oh, hello, advisor. I don't usually get off of that podium. Right, let's get back over there. As you can see, I just got shook. Which is completely fine. That could have been avoided altogether. If I just used my back bar. So now, as you can see, that Lamia vanished. And is now about to come down and attack me directly. These arenas are also made to test you. Which is nice. You know, you sustain. Um, just everything, really. Focus upon the Lamia Queen, because I believe once she's dead, everything just dies. There you go. Now, we get back onto this one. Hello. Take your chest. I've got another one year copper. Something else for my thing. And now we're going to set flywheel. Which is, again set within a clockwork city sort of area okay so again you've got your little buffs at the side which are within every arena Khajiit wanted a piece. Oh, and then our first named opponent for this one arena. Oh my god, your healer just isn't healing. Hello. Right, so round two.
yeah. There's a lot of, you know, just focus on where your enemies are and just shoot anything that moves. Well, you know, for me, since I'm using a lightning staff, it is quite literally just shoot anything that moves. You know, I'm using my rattle cage stuff and my treasure hunter gear from Arx Corinium. Not Arx Corinium. Volenfell. Arx Corinium is the Medusa set. I've apparently got Arx Corinium in my head. That's fine. Right? It's fine. We all get stuff mixed up. We're human. We sometimes do stupid things that we can't take back. You know? No matter how much we try. And my mind's just running off with me again, which is pretty ga damn god normal. Especially lately. Okie dokie. Oh. Oh, is there a healer around? Not for long there isn't. Okie dokie. And then there's a sentry. Oh, and look. A big dwarven spider. Um, if you've done Darkshade Cavern 2, I know that I haven't recorded it yet, but this is basically the same sort of mechanic of it going around the room. Um, I'm guessing like this is meant to be like, say, the poison sort of thing that happens with it. But you basically follow it around and there's the flames. And there we go dead pick up your loot nothing new I mean you can talk to this guy which will tell you a little bit about what you need to know for the next arena but let's jump into the rink of frozen blood shall we So guys, we're now in the Rink of Frozen Blood. Step forward. And we shall try and do this. So for this one, I'm going to spend my time here. Just because of the last boss. <coughs> right. These straw breakers, they can reduce the size of the ice that you stand on. You do not want that to happen. So as soon as you see one and shoot fire at will okay there's another one coming out oh another named enemy has appeared i'm not hitting as hard as i should be which is bothering me a little bit but as far as I see it as well, if I kill things, if I'm not dying, that's all that matters really. A higher DPS just makes it a hell of a lot easier. You know? Right, get that troll breaker. and the Ogre Elder. Okay, and here comes round three, I think? Yep, round three. Because within the last fight, you need 
um, these podiums. And I mean, you need them. I mean, if you want to farm XP, the arenas are a great way to do it. Farm gold? Not so much. Which is completely fine. You know? Level yourself up, right? Right, and here we have Viggy. And Aki. It's a shame that they don't have the same mechanic as their uh, descendants in the fourth era. Where they actually shoot you up in the freaking sky. Like, you know, you'd have thought people love that little, you know, bug that they put in to the game. That they fixed it and then they were like, oh, but we really liked it. So they inserted it back in. You would think that they would add it into ESO. But they didn't. Oh, there's a troll breaker taking away some ice slap. Hey, I'm just playing. I'm not fighting. Right, so now we've got Mat Matriarch Runa. So I basically make her break this one first with a jump. I then peg it over here as much as I can. I probably do need that haste to be quite honest. So she's at 50%. It doesn't help that I have an icebreaker on here. Right. <gasps> Where's the other piece? No! I'm actually doing this. No! <laughs> Where did the other piece go? That's not meant to happen. Oh well, it's, it's fine. It's the first time I've died in this one. It's usually the next one and then the one after that that I usually die on. Huh. It's fine. We won't talk about that, but hey. So. Let's try and stay focused, shall we? And I know my arm is broken. Right, get rid of that freaking troll. Ow! I don't even know which one I need. Just run to anyone. So she's about to break this. I need to get rid of that troll. Good. Right. And now she is going to make her way over here. So like, destroy. I'm, there we go. All done. Okay, so it's always this one to the west that they go to, which is why I try to do what I did there. Right, before I continue, I shall repair my gear. Okay. This is where you also get to have a look at what gear I'm wearing. Which, I don't mind you guys, you know, judging me for what I wear. You know, I don't mind having that little bit of like, oh, why don't you try this? Right. This one is the one that I usually die at. It's the one that I actually died at firstly when I did this. So, I've been told to try and have as many of these things unwebbed as possible. Because that helps a lot. And I'm like, but I don't know how to un thingy. But yeah, if you have them, you know, like this, 
they will light up and do damage to your enemies, I guess. But only for a short time. But my guess is kill things near the obelisk to get rid of it. I don't know. I don't know. As I said, I've only probably done this like five times, so I'm still learning the mechanics. <laughs> you know? But I'm like, ooh, there's an event on. I might as well record it. You know? Right. Round two. It's either this one or the next round that I usually die at with all the freaking spiderlings. Little spiders that just there's so many of them that you actually die from the amount of damage that it does what well, i do anyway but as well i'm not using any buff food which i should probably put on but it's not slotted because i'm a dumbass who completely forgot to you know slot food for this yes i do have food on me it's just not available for use at the moment but yeah oh hello get rid of you Oh, and some more of these spiderlings have come in to play. Just try and get rid of the spiderlings first is what I'm going to do. You know? They're a pain in the behind. But as well, we're sort of like, I believe it's Meridia. Meridia's realm. Or my fault. It's the one that has all the spiders and the Daedric Prince of Whispers. So I'm um, probably Mafala. I get Mafala and Meridia sometimes modelled up. It's like 4.15 in the morning. Okay. Wait, why are you awake recording? Um, my child woke up, so, you know, I'm awake. She's gone back to sleep, by the way, so that's fine. You know? I waited until she was back asleep to start recording. You know, like the mother that I am. But, yep. Yeah. Okay. Round four right now. But we're going to get some lurches. Hello. Some web spinners. We want those to maybe stay away from the obelisks. In fact, we want any sort of spider just to stay away from them. And here is a sort of mini boss. Hey, don't you use my spells against me. I recognise that movement set. Right, so that's now dead. Get rid of all these spiderlings. You're shooting arrows where there's no enemy. Makes sense, to be quite honest waste arrows but as you can see the boss is as well up there oh vanished because the final round is starting and I'm starting with a bunch of freaking things so I'm going to focus everything I've got 
upon this champion. Ow. Right, I'm going to use the Sigil of Power. But she's going to spawn in so much stuff to like try and help her take me down. Which is completely fine, you know. Right. And she's dead, which, hey, well done to me. And here is the next chest. Yay. Okay. And now we're in like an alien ruin sort of thing. So we're going to... The first time I saw this, I'm like, wait, why are we going into the vaults of Umbridge? So, with this, there's going to be, like, flowers that spawn. There we are. Stay away from them. And I will tell you now, I'm going to die here. Okay, quite a few times, actually, because I always do. I think there's once where I actually haven't. Ooh, level up twice in one video. What? But yeah, I try and find where there's no flower. And, you know, I've got to move each time. But, yeah. I'm not sure if there's a flower over here. No, there's... Yes, there is. Sugar puffs and daisies. What kills me most is um, some sort of explosion that happens when you're poisoned. I don't know. But it, it annoys me, okay? There's no flower there. For now, that is. Oh, there we go. I think one of the flowers has just gone boop. And I didn't realise that there was one there. Okay. Get rid of the venom callers. Oop, there's a flower over there. Safe bet is over here for the time being. And there we go. So you can see there was a explosion that did 50,000 damage. <laughs> yeah. Hee. Youch. Okay, so there's a flower there. Flower there. Seems like my safe bet is over here, I guess. You know, and I'm poisoned again, which is just brilliant. You know, I don't have add-ons to tell me when things are going to happen. You know, incoming attacks. And all. Which is, you know, upsetting. You know, I'm on Xbox. I don't have such add-ons. Did you just freeze, my dude? Okay, so a few plants have just gone kaboom. Again, over here is my safe bet. I'm going to use a sigil of defense. I need to also make sure there's no flowers anywhere nearby because, damn, those are a pain. Take out the venom callers, I'm guessing, as well. Oh, flowers have decided that they want to come near me. Do one, my soup. Yeah, 
there's a flower right there. I'm not sure if there's one right behind me either. Nope. Safe bet at the moment is over here. My clan fear is on a dying mode. So. Feral Argonians. Yo, Venom Shot. hate archers in this. So if anything hurts, it's the archers. Oh, and there's now flowers right near me. I'm poisoned, which is just great. And of course, the venom shots are shooting at me, which is just fun. Probably should have saved that for the boss fight. Which is fine. I mean, I can easily... Again? Again. I hate this arena. <laughs> Especially this one. Ooh. Use the bewitched sugar skulls. And we're almost done with this one as well. I tell myself this. Oh, there's a flower. But you know, you gotta stay on your toes, keep away from the, all the flowers. There's once where I didn't die to this one and I felt really good about myself actually. But you know, I'm dying all the time now. In places that I don't usually die. Which, hey, really odd for me. You know, I had a good run in Vaults of Madness. I didn't die once there. But here, it's just like, heh. Yeah. You know how that cursed one didn't kill you, which is what usually happens? Well, here you go. Okay. Now here comes the boss, which is what comes up as your trophy. What usually kills me here is when he roars. So, you know, try and keep away especially for the raw but be mindful of the flowers there's also going to be these things that appear too so take those out but yeah the raw absolutely fucking hurts and now somebody's oof yeah 63,000 damage from the raw okay <laughs> another reason why i'm dying you might fucking just uh learn some shit okay like i mean you might just learn something like ooh, there's this skill there's that skill yeah there's a fuck ton of skills that we fucking hate in this game oh Panda's also awake still. At half four in the morning. Okay, so this guy is gonna die in a moment. Oh. Depends. Oh, it's gonna be a close one. No! So close. I was also bleeding. Third time's a try. Yes, the challenger is trying again because third time lucky, especially earlier. Right, safe bet really is over here where it spawns, which e. What 
I want is the defense. Which apparently doesn't want to spawn up for me. There we go. What on earth? S -s Seriously? I had my damage shield on. That shouldn't have killed me as far like that. It's fine. You know what? We'll, we'll do this. Hmm. Doesn't help when you've got, you know, shit killing you all the time. Get rid of these minders. Right, and here comes his scream. There's a minder somewhere. There we go. Finally. <laughs> you can finally. So let's go into here. We're nearly there. Nearly. Okay. So this one, there will be some pillars that spawn like here. Whenever an enemy is glowing blue, destroy the one that is full. And then like it will stun your enemy. Which, ooh, can be so handy. A healer healing a healer. Yep, yeah, I guess that works. Oh, and as I said, the warding stone is full. And it only ever really happens whenever there's a lurcher or the flame knight. chat's gonna portray me because i'm hiding offline to do all these uh but i'm making myself a little like catalog of videos because i've got my injection today um so you know don't have to worry about recording anything while i feel like utter crap because i don't know how the injection is gonna affect me you know I could be on my deathbed for all I know. It might not affect me at all. Like it did my other half, you know? He just had a really numb arm and maybe a headache. But people react differently to the vaccine. So, you know, I've got that to deal with. Oh, bollocks. Um, right. My stuff just played up, which is really nice. You know, so yeah, that happened. It happened. The same thing happened when I did Vault of Madness. But yep. So another warding stone has appeared. Which is completely fine, you know? Just tells me that there's a lurcher that just needs killing. You know it's late when the Aussies come out to play. Maybe. Maybe. 
meant to be in bed. So perhaps, ouch, that hit just a little bit, only a little bit, oh hello, one of these is up, because she's lighting up blue, right now she's stunned which is very nice, get out of that. This is the flame knight. It is huge. You know, I'm a high elf, which means like I am as high as they get, okay? In the height range. Unless you're tight, you're Lyris Titanborn, then, you know, <laughs> maybe just shrink down a little bit. Okay, now for this one, you've got to get all of them down. All three, okay? which will then stun and you can attack to your heart's content okay of course now I've got to do the extra warning wardings because she will not take any damage while there is one ward up And there we go. And now blue. And blue, da ba di ba da da. So, loot this. Something else for my thing. What am I doing? Why am I in here? It'll be my legs and my feet that need repairing. Which is completely fine. What happens here? Everything just needs to be repaired. Right, and here is the last arena. The Theatre of Despair. And the funny thing is, that's what my staff's called. Despair. So with this one, watch out for the ghosts. Uh, they will slow you down if they touch you. But you can touch the golden ones. For they are your friends. Okay. Basically, three of these and you can do this, like, explosion thing. Which stuns your enemies and gets rid of the wraiths for a few seconds. Hence why I run over to them. First time I did this, there were so many of them. It's pretty damn nice. Right. So I'll show you what I mean. So this explosion gets rid of the wraiths. It stuns your enemies, even the bosses. Oh, that's another champion point I just ran right into a dead rock like hi take me I want to die <laughs> bite me and then you can die actually but as well they'll also take a bit of damage you know when you run into them it's not just oh we'll slow you down it's yeah we'll take a tad bit of your health too Only just a tad. Right, and now I can do the another explosion. Yep, go on, chain me up. Okay. Oh, there's another golden one. Okay. So 
you see we had a few bad little arenas just then but then we kick it back off and we're good to go right i think we are nope i already know pain okay okay dokie i'm gonna save this for the time being because we're about to get um an enemy in that possibly goddamn needs it and i'm blue so keep these as well away from no Oh my god, I'm guessing if they hit you, you lose out on your thing as well. Which, that's upsetting. Or maybe it's on a timer. But yeah, keep these away because they can spawn in some enemies as well. Like, keep them away from the centre because they are summoning stuff in. Okie dokie. Round five. Yeah, probably on a timer. I don't know. I'm still learning, you know? Right, and this is the good old friend that I was referring to. The Ash Titan. I remember the first time I ever come across one of these. I was doing... City of Ash 2 and I got walloped quite a few times from it you know I didn't know the mechanics of an Ash Titan get here I need you I'm nobody's Right, yeah, it's on a timer for like freaking a few seconds. But I might as well use it. It's on like a 10 second timer, which is poop. Right, final round. We've got this guy. But we're also in like, say, the Deadlands. Or is it inspired by the Deadlands anyway? This guy can jump around. He's a... Oh, come on. So now you got to kill a few things to activate these portals to get yourself up there to where he is. But watch out because, you know, he's got the lich thing. There you are. I'm going to use the sigil of haste in a moment as well. Once one is available. Because it makes doing up top a lot faster and easier. Because you've got these crystals to do. Oh, don't you freaking hit me, boy. Oh, well, apparently he wants to hit me that way. Right, and now he will come over here. And now just smack him. Just... Bring your all. Now you're not spawning anything in. Just hit, okay? And there we go. That is your Maelstrom Arena. Take your chest. Go back to the area 
and go and hand it in. You know? Of course, you can't go back in there. Which is a big shame. But let's talk to this guy. What happens now? Let's complete this quest and what a name for the barons. Barons who move like this. That's literally his name. Baron moves like a smoking prune. That's that one done. So guys, as I said, I've only done this about six times now. Uh, five when I started this. So this is what I've got so far. So a few pieces for the Cruel Fury. One thing for Crushing Wall. Merciless Charge. I've got the one thing for the precise thing. Uh... You know, just a couple bits here and there. That's new. Uh, first time I ran through this, I got 19 new pieces. But as well, double drops. Is very, very handy. For this. But yep. Yeah. And each day, if I do it again and again and again, each day, it'll slowly build up. And then I can do vet, male, storm arena to get the perfected items which would be very very nice so everyone that was maelstrom arena i died a lot more than i thought i was going to and earlier than i thought i was going to with the ice arena i don't usually die then as i said it's usually within my father's realm that i die so that was a surprise to me but yeah we, we won't talk about that we won't talk about that. Uh, <laughs> I know there are some people that will talk about it. Anyway, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And stay safe, stay social, and peace out.